Do you want to know something? You can't tell anyone though, it's a secret. I... <laughs> I don't believe in dentists. No, I don't, I haven't been since I was a kid. I'm not scared or anything, I just, um... Don't mind giving my money to corporations. Anyway, I get a cleaning job, you see, at a dentist. Ugh, had to clean the entire place, almost. There was this um, cupboard on the second floor, always stayed locked, double locked, less cleaning for me. <laughs> but I'd say around day three, I found tinnies in their bin, right? Now that's pretty dodgy at the best of times, especially when you're sticking your fingers in people's mouths. <laughs> Hey, hey, I wasn't going to judge though. We've all been through a phase of minor alcoholism. Minor alcoholism. <laughs> but, you know, I'd say like a couple of days later, I find a list of names. You know, probably just their patients, I guess. Uh, just found it a bit weird that every name had a tick or a cross next to it. And I was like, oh, fine. Probably just some weird dentist thing I don't understand. Or maybe, maybe the ones with crosses are the ones they operated on when they were pissed. Where was I? Oh yeah, yeah. Right, so the next week I go in and I find something. Right, so there's this operating room and the uh, the blinds were drawn across the windows. They hadn't been before and blood. Right, so much blood. The chair, right, was like a metre away from the... It was like some fucked up painting. You know, some, some modern art shit. And like, you know, none of this made sense. Like, what was I missing? What was I not seeing? Cupboard. Cupboard. It had to be. So, being the resourceful little minx that I am, I figure I can use a scalpel to get through the door. It was tough. I was desperate. Clawing away at the door, just layers of skin, peeling off my fingers, ignoring the blood, just trying... Alright, bartender, you can quit it with that look. I might be exaggerating, but that means I'm creative, right? The cupboard was lined with shelves. On first glance, it was like a rubbish tip for out of use equipment. A lot of the drill heads? A lot of the drill heads had the top bits taken off. On my right, there was a box marked use, like full to the brim with the larger drill heads, and all covered in varying degrees of like this tinny reddish brown substance and oh my god what was that smell it was like you know when you see a deer on the road and you have to move it and all you can smell is like and i just thought hang on no this can't be what i thought it was but the drawers right at the back center stage if you will uh are all labeled with names and some i recognize you know from the list the ticks and the crosses uh, suddenly I knew what they meant. The front door swung and slammed shut. The time. Shit. The time. It was 8am. Suddenly the, the mumble of chatting got louder and louder until they were just staring at me. Their eyes. Right into my soul. Like, move feet. Move. Why wouldn't they just move? And then, as if in slow motion, a ball of rolled up fingers just makes its progress towards my face. And it, if I'd stayed there any longer, I... I uh, vomited on the street around the corner and passed out. I don't know how long for. When I managed to get home, I called mum. She suggested I threaten them with blackmail to the police. <sighs> don't have to work for a year now. ka -ching. Mum knows best. But who knows, I could, I could end up in that cupboard, so... Worth it. So how's about it, bartending? Now you uh, know my secret. How about you come join me on this side of the bar? <laughs>